I know, I know, that's a very bold claim to make that this is the most underrated nano fish out there, but just pause with me for a second and think about it. Have you ever seen this fish before? Have you ever seen this fish on any of the other top five or top 10 nano fish list or videos out there? I guarantee that you probably haven't seen it and I can guarantee it was I went out and watched all those videos and read through all those articles to make sure when I say that it is the most underrated nano fish out there, that it is really truly in my opinion and based on the opinion of other people, a very underrated one because they haven't talked about it. People talk about the Celestia Prodanias that I keep and breed, the Chili Rasboras, the Pygmy Corridors, Clown Killy Fish, all these other nano fish, but no one has ever talked about the possibilities and the beauty of the Elisoma Gerberturi for nano fish tanks. And that is the fish we're talking about today, the Gulf Coast Pygmy Sunfish or the Elisoma Gerberturi, and it comes from Florida. And it is an absolutely beautiful fish. But when you go online and look at pictures of this fish, it is not a fish that looks as great as it does in person. The first picture that you'll see is a stereotypical one that you will find on the internet. Like it's not a bad looking fish, but it's not a great looking fish. And the second picture here is a picture that I actually took of one of my males inside of my tank, which compared to the two, the one that I have in my tank looks entirely different than the one that you normally see online. So when you're looking at these fish, yes, you can look online at them and see pictures of them, but until you actually have one in your tank or see what they look like in other people's tanks, it does not do them justice at all. So I think there are two things that make these the most underrated nano fish out there. The first is their behavior and the second is their temperament. We'll first start on their behavior. The behavior of these fish is absolutely wonderful. You, you have one of the most beautiful displays of spawning rituals, spawning dances that I've seen in any fish across any of the different species, fresh or saltwater, cichlid or non-cichlid, by far and away one of the most beautiful ones. When I've shown friends these fish's spawning dances and when they've kept them themselves and actually seen the spawning dances, it is absolutely stunning. It's like a dance like you've never seen before for a fish. And it, it, it's really just truly something else. I can sit here for minutes just watching the males displaying and showing off to the females as they're trying to court her. And can you guys tell me another nano fish that has a courtship that is as beautiful as this, that is as elaborate as this, that the males get as colored up as this? I mean, just look at this male that is displaying for a female right now. Like, you cannot... You cannot compete with this. I don't think you can compete with this with other nano fish, and that's why I think it is one of the most underrated, if not the most underrated nano fish out there. The second thing is their temperament. These fish are fantastic in community tanks. I've had mine in my tank out here for almost a year now with Celestia prodanios, with Harlequin rasboras, with some Kayathith danios, some shrimp, and some super red bishop nose plecos. And they have not given one lick about all those other fish. They only care about each other. They are constantly displaying, flashing, fighting with one another, trying to get the attention of the female, and they really don't care about the other fish. I have seen Celestia Prodania swim right across the face of them, and they really don't care. Now, the other fish, when those, when the Elisoma Gerberturi start displaying and dancing and whatnot, they were like, okay, well, there's something going on here. We should probably back away, and they move away. But it's never the Elisoma going out and hunting and chasing down these other fish. So they make a great fish for a planted community tank, especially for your nano fish keepers out there. And the reason why I like them so much is that they are a reclusive fish. And now for some people, this might be a problem, but for me, I think it is a wonderful thing because it adds more layers and more depth to our planted tanks or to our nano tanks that we have. When you first look at my tank, you might first see the Harlequin Rasboras and you see the Kayathith Danios, and then you'll see the Celestia Prodanios swimming around. And you might see the Bristlenose Pleconex and then some shrimp, but tucked away and then amongst the plants hidden in the sides and the back are the Elisoma Gerberturi. And it's only in looking at the tank, you are rewarded with seeing these fish and seeing the spawning dances, because this is not a fish that is going to be out and about all the time displaying it whatnot. It's gonna be in and amongst the leaves, just waiting and lurking, because it's an ambush predator. And it's going to be in and amongst the leaves. And it is a treat for us as fish keepers who are dedicated to our tanks and are intrigued by our tanks, who sit down and watch them, that we are rewarded with this spawning dance that we can only see when we start actually looking into the plants and seeing these males dancing around for their females. The only downside to these fish is that they are relatively hard to find. And that's why I actually wanna start breeding them. Whenever I do start breeding them, I'll leave that video here of how I breed them right here. But in the meantime, check out the video of how I collected them down in Florida. With that, I'll see you over in that video and have a blessed day. See ya.